You're watching Season Living with Rosemary. Hi, friends. Today we're going to recover, or I guess you'd call it semi-recover, a lampshade. Now that you've seen that the kitchen is in the blue and white, over in this corner, I thought it would be kind of cute to have like a small lamp. And I found this little lamp at the thrift store for just a couple dollars, but it didn't have a shade. So I waited until I found a shade, but it just, it needs the blue and white touch. I saw a really cute lampshade on Pinterest. Let me show you that. Now I couldn't find the blue and white wall that is in that picture from Pinterest, but I did find some other blue and white fabric. And so I wanna show you how I start from start to finish, how I'm going to take that lampshade, clean it up a bit and semi recover it so that we have a blue and white lampshade to go on our little lamp. Here's the shade that I chose. I wanna clean the lamp and remove the trim but keep the shade as it is. We're going to spray the surface with an all-purpose cleaner. I'm using a brush to scrub some of this dirt off. But don't scrub too hard or you could go right through the fabric. Now it's nice and clean. You want to get the lampshade dry as quickly as possible to keep water spots or staining from happening. Next, we need to make a pattern. So we need paper, a pencil, and scissors, and the lampshade. As we start to make our pattern, come out about a quarter of an inch from the edge of the paper and draw, I'm just freehanding, drawing a line down the side. Now you're going to want to very, very carefully flip the paper over once, like you're turning the page of a book. Now all you need to do is mark the top and the bottom of the shade pattern. You don't need to do a side. We're basically just unfolding as we go. Once again, carefully turning, trying not to make the pattern move very much on the fabric. This will be our fourth and last flip.
On this last fold, we're going to make another seam allowance. I'm once again going to just draw freehand about a quarter inch away for a seam allowance. I will then carefully cut along all of the little pencil lines from the pattern that I made. Now we'll place the fabric wrong side out along the one of corners of the shade and we're going to start pinning it as tightly as we can. Now I'll take my pencil and follow along the pins and make a line to be used for stitching at the sewing machine. As I work my way down, I will remove the pins and place them the opposite direction so that I can run them through on the sewing machine. Here's the line that I will follow to stitch. Now I'll trim the seam, but I'll weave about a quarter of an inch so that we can press it open with an iron. You want the seam ironed flat so that it lays nice on the shape. Time to turn it right side out and start the fitting process. Line the seam along one of the corners so that it doesn't show as much. Start adjusting the fabric to fit the shade better. Now I'm adding pins over several parts of the shade. Smoothing, adjusting. This will help the shade stay in place as I do the gluing. Continue to smooth as you pin. I'll be using a low temperature hot glue gun. A little easier on the fingers. I'll continue all the way around. Now I'm going to remove all of the pins so that as I smooth the opposite way, I can pull the fabric tight. Continue to smooth the fabric as you glue to get it nice and tight. I 
I think I'll use this blue rickrack to hide the raw edge. We're going to trim off the excess first. I'm also trimming the excess off the bottom of the shade. I will start at the corner. Right here it is finished and we're going to just put it on and we'll go plug it in and see how it looks. Today's Bible verse is Genesis chapter 1 verses 3 through 5. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light, and God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. So the evening and the morning were the first day. If you like this video, please subscribe and click the bell for further notifications. We're also now on Rumble.